Hello guys, welcome back, my name is Andrei. In this video I'll talk about Sparrow Parse. Uh, this is library uh, which helps to process uh, tabular data and uh, it works in combination with uh, uh, Sparrow uh, LLM Rack, uh, for example running uh, Instructor Agent. Uh, but uh, in this video I'll be focusing on uh, Sparrow Parse and uh, I'll explain how it works. Uh, it is work in progress. The, the final code is not yet on the GitHub, but uh, as soon as it will be completed, uh, I'll push it to the GitHub to be available for everyone. So let's see. Uh, uh, this is the main script, unstructured parse, uh, processor. There's another one, markdown processor. And yeah, so the idea is, is that I'm not relying on a single library like Unstructured to read PDF file. I also have functionality which uh, works with the markdown and hopefully will add a few more options in the future. And then, uh, so in the first step, we extract uh, uh, from PDF document uh, HTML or markdown. And then in the next step, for example, here we're using HTML uh, extractor. Uh, and basically, yeah, in the first step, when we extract uh, HTML, or another option, if we extract Markdown, we also convert it uh, to the HTML. Uh, so in both cases, we will have HTML. And in the second step, we're using HTML extractor, which goes through the uh, HTML table, for example, and uh, based on the field names that you want to extract, it extracts this data. So let's see how unstructured processor works. Let's uh, uh, run it in the meantime. So I uh, let's run it and it'll go through the sample PDF file for the invoice document and it'll, uh, in this case, it'll use unstructured library and try to detect uh, tables inside this document and uh, create the HTML uh, structure for those tables. Okay, and here we go. Uh, we got the answer. So, uh, Unstructured library. Uh, this is the raw response from the unstructured uh, for the form data, and here we get one table and then second table. And then with Sparrow parse, we uh, uh, look for the tables only in this case, and we will uh, in the, in this uh, in this test uh, we just get raw output. But uh, as soon as this library is used from Sparrow uh, LLM uh, engine, then uh, <coughs> The uh, this response will be handled automatically, and uh, yeah, you, you'll get back the structured JSON output. <clears throat> In this case, because it's the, this is the development mode, <clears throat> I'm running two uh, steps separately to simplify the debugging. So in this case, from the structured processor, I got HTML, and then I'm storing this HTML inside this uh, temporary table, and then in the second step, when I'm doing uh, uh, actual JSON extraction from from uh, HTML, I'm reading this uh, text file. Okay, so now if you look briefly into the source code, uh, under the unstructured processor, we have extract data main method, which uh, reads uh, uh, elements from the document using unstructured library. Then we are loading text data and uh, basically returning back the uh, HTML structure over here for the tables. So under the process file, we're usually relying on unstructured, unstructured API and reading either PDF or image file. And uh, if it's an image, then uh, OCR happens automatically. Then there are some helper methods over here. And uh, then uh, we got method process JSON file and uh, based on the parameters that user, user uh, is passing in, if we are interested to extract tables only, then we, from from this uh, metadata JSON, uh, from the metadata that we get from unstructured, we extract only tables or we extract also form data and so on. And this is the place where we can uh, identify that table was detected by unstructured and we can use this um, data for uh, for the processing to extract uh, table that data directly uh, from from this uh, from the structure without uh, sending this data to LLM. Okay, so in this step, the main task of this step was to get uh, uh, HTML table, basically that represents a table from PDF file. Okay, so we got that. 
Uh, and the next step is HTML extractor. It works with the HTML uh, structure that was generated in the first step. And here we specify the field names that we would like to fetch from the table, uh, which currently represented in HTML format. And uh, here we, will, we, we are interested in description, quantity, net price, net worth, VAT, gross worth. Now, if you run the script, uh, and the script by default in, a, in development mode, it will use the uh, HTML table stored in, in this text file. And what we can see here, uh, we get, for example, columns from actual HTML, and those are our target columns that we pass here for the query. And then we're using um, sentence transformers uh, and uh, ML model to identify similarity between target column and actual column from HTML to be able to, be able to find the index of uh, uh, HTML column from where to fetch the data because uh, we have our own parser in Sparrow Parse and we don't rely on any other library. We just extract data from HTML uh, by using Sparrow Parse functionality. So here we match description with description, quantity, and if you look into VAT, there was a similarity score of 74%. It, um, we was able to match correctly those labels for the gross worth and so on. So all, all, all of them uh, field names were matched correctly with actual table names extracted uh, and available in HTML. And then we're just uh, reading data directly from the content without passing it to LLM to avoid uh, data loss or hallucination. And this also allows to improve data extraction performance by far comparing if you would uh, pass this table data to LLM. And here, here we get the answer. Now, if you look a bit into the uh, uh, HTML extractor code, we'll see this is the main read data uh, method, which uh, does uh, data cleaning for HTML table. For example, uh, there's a helper method implemented mesh HTML table headers, uh, because sometimes unstructured library uh, or other library may return uh, HTML structure with some junk content, which happens quite often. And we are, for example, cleaning up the source span in the header, merging uh, uh, header elements if multiple header elements were returned, then merging columns based on source span, normalizing table, and also merging uh, uh, table based on a row span. Uh, so then we clean up the data this way, and then in the next step we get actual table uh, column names from HTML and looking up for similarities between uh, target columns that were included into the query and actual columns. And this way we identify indices uh, from where to extract data for specific field name. And then in this step, we actually extract data, convert it to JSON, and then uh, you get back the response. Okay, so the, uh, as the next step, what I'm doing with this library in Sparrow Parse, I'm adding support to uh, process multiple tables within the same page. And the next step will be to process multi-page PDF documents. So once those two things are done, then I'll commit the code to the GitHub and I'll update the readme file with the instructions how to use Sparrow Parse from Sparrow library out of the box, or you could use it uh, directly from your own uh, project if you don't want to use Sparrow because Sparrow Parse is independent uh, uh, library that uh, can be installed uh, through PIP, for example. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.